P Pirates. Okay, Romeo, um, a very successful season last campaign. You know, I think you arrived with all the luck, as Sam has said. Um, how do you sum up that season? Yeah, you know, it's been a great season uh, last season. Uh, Set ourselves targets to achieve, and the only thing we couldn't achieve was uh, like a couple of injuries and things like that. But you, you I think know, we like ended on a high, and, and just to move on from that and to focus on what's what's to come this season, try to uh, achieve bigger and better goals. Mm. I mean, I look at your career, and I think at 33, you, you've yeah, accomplished a lot. I mean, um, you won the league, multiple league titles, the MTNA, the Melbourne Cup. You've been to France, One you've been to Portugal, you've been to Sweden, um, when you hit a certain and you've played at the World Cup. You know, you 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 you've accomplished a lot. I can I can go on and on. Um, but when you look back for you, um, are you satisfied with what you've done? Could you have done more? Uh, I'm not at the I'm not at a point in my career to look back at it. You know, I'll probably just do that once I'm done with football because I still have the ambition to achieve more things. You know, I'm still active and not too focused on, on the past right now and even though like you said I've, I've, I've accomplished a lot in my career it's not what I'm thinking about on a daily I'm I'm too busy with what I've set myself out to achieve the season or what I've set out um, as a team so I get injured waking up for me that's that's been my, <laughs> my drive you can wait for like throughout my career it's always an ambition you just wake up to not, to not uh, <laughs> be stagnant on <laughs> what you've done in, your, in the past but always looking forward to what you want to achieve in the future mm. with that as well I mean you, you can choose to, to not respond to the question uh, with that as well I mean you look at the consistency I mean you score a lot of goals frequently so you, you you create a lot of chances and you lay a lot of assists as well. And and, 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 and for many, I mean myself and so that um, you are a sort of a player that a national team would benefit from. But with that, the numbers when it comes to the national team are not there. What do you think you've done, or why do you think you've fallen short in terms of being a regular feature in the senior national team? Well, uh, well the national team has always been a. A controversial thing, you know. For whatever reason, I have no knowledge about. But you know, it's football, man. I'm not too focused on things I have no control over. You know, uh, the national team has been changing coaches over the years, and everybody has their own preference. And you know, it's been proven over the years that it's not based on performance or current form. You know, when I was at Pirates the last time, I was in the national team. When I was on current form, so my focus is not really about the national team or when the national team I have no philosophy with them or whoever's in charge or what they what they the philosophies or beliefs are about me and you know if anything I wish them the best you know if the national team does well it's great for the players it's great for the, the possibility to go to Europe because the higher ranks we are in the, in the, in the world the better it is for scouts to go to come and scout for players because I've said before in my previous interviews in South Africa we have the best talent in the world I was speaking to Pule on our way here and I said to him, if you see what we do on, on, on gravel, on Pukui, it's what they call it, the ability that, to dribble on that, to do the skills they do. Imagine if we had that infrastructure from a young age for, for, our, for our players, the infrastructure to develop the raw the talent. I mean, we could be one of the best countries in the world. So for me, I'm not too focused on, on, on that. I'm, in, I'm at the London Pirates. Mm. For me, that's the biggest. It's bigger than the national team, if anything. It's changed my life for the better. And the recognition I get on a daily it blows my mind sometimes, still today. Mm. And obviously, you are in a, in a in a happy space, in a good space. Um, it shows in your performances as well. Uh, what would you say are the objectives of the cup this season from a player's perspective? Well, you know, if you're in a club like Orlando Pirates, the objective is to win everything on offer. And that's what we, we prepared for this season, to fight for every possible trophy that is that there is to, to play for. And obviously qualifying for the Champions League and trying to go all the way. So there's no question about what we're trying to specific uh, title. It's everything we're fighting for this season. And rightfully so. I mean, we don't come to Paris as being part of being a number. We're here to, to compete and to try and be part of or creating more history than, than, than there is already.
Mm. I don't know if you remember this, but ma many years ago, I, I, I texted you and I asked you a question about um, a, a striker ideal for Bafana Bafana, and your response was that at the time we needed someone like Kilam Pella, someone who's a finisher in the box, someone who scores goals. Um, when you look back now, and then, um, is, he, is he someone that you looked up to? Is there any inspirations that you drew from him? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I played with Kilam Pella in the national team, and at a, at a point at Super Sport, that was a real goal coach. Mm -hmm. He was amazing, amazing guy as well. Always had time for the young players. And yeah, I mean. There's a few players, there's a lot of other play, other strikers that I admire watching and looking up to. And one of my the main ones was Benny McCarthy. He's been my role model as a striker coming from South Africa. The only South African that's won the Champions League. <laughs> I'm sure he'll always complain to people or to me if, if I've given if I give him his flowers every time I see him because I show him nothing but love. Not only for what he's achieved, but the type of person he is, you know. I don't think he's ever changed from what is who he is to what is because of what he's achieved. He's always been the same. And for me, that's more admirable than anything anybody's achieved in their career. So always staying the same. I'm more down to earth and having time for people, no matter who they are. Mm. You, 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 came, you, came, you may opt to, to skip this question as well, but I'm just trying to understand from you, from you um, towards the end, the second half of last season, most importantly, there was a, l a lot of. Uh, telepathy with with, with Vuga, mm -hmm. you know, um, a lot of goals as well. He scored a lot of involvements that you were involved sure. in. Did his departure come to you as a surprise, as it did for the club as well? Yeah, obviously, uh, Vuga is a great person, somebody I admire, very humble guy, and very quiet. And yes, uh, it's a surprise, and it's sad that he had to leave. But you know. We have to respect his decision also to, to move on and for his own reasons, reasons that I have no answers to. And I just have to uh, accept it, but you know, it's football. At the end of the day, it's a business and sometimes we cannot choose for people that want to decide otherwise. You know, I would have loved to continue playing with him. You have been waiting for him. Also, a sniper in the box, finishes in any way. And other than that, he's, he's a great, great human being. Mm. And I mean, over the years, you've been, it's a bit of a fun game now. Over the, you've been to many stadiums, I mean, you scored a lot of goals at Kitan Stadium, at Orlando Stadium previously, and now um, at Elizabeth Stadium, the stadium of Europe. Your favorite stadium that you've played in? Yeah, my favorite stadium is Orlando Stadium. Mkodi. It's Kodi. I don't know the. And then, um, it's the tough. Toughest. Toughest defender you've faced in the PSL? Uh, I don't think there is any tough defender that I've faced. You know. I left in the 90s. I mean, it's always a challenge to play against My still there. The, the top defenders in the country, but I wouldn't say there's anybody How's that's, life in that's tough in that because regard. I, mean, like, that I have no fear of any of any defender. You know, I play with freedom. Mm. And it's all about being unpredictable. Score or assist? I love to score, but I like assisting because I'm, I, I know I can score goals. But just to assist somebody, for them to have the feeling of scoring and mm. to having to celebrate in front of the fans, I always, I also want them. I also always want other players to experience what it's like to score, to have that confidence, to want to score more goals. Mm. You, you're from PE, been in Joburg, played in Cape Town, been to Paris. Your favorite city? My favorite city, I would say Rotterdam. Basically, because it's, the food's great. People are friendly. It's just a beautiful city. How is this adjustment? Thank you so much.